The universe is expanding at a quicker rate, and the end of time is getting closer. This is based on NASA's new findings. Sean Martin Express UK reports, The universe is expanding at a much quicker rate than what was previously thought. Scientists have revealed and begging the question, does that mean that the end of time is nearer than expected? That has to do with the uh, theory of relativity. The universe has began expanding since the dawn of time. This, uh, we, they estimated it's about 14 billion years ago, following the Big Bang. But since then, the pace at which it is expanding has been increasing, thanks to a mysterious substance known as dark energy. And this is how the scientists describe it. While gravity pulls everything together, causing clusters and galaxies, for example, dark energy is responsible for making the universe expand. It's been known through observations of the cosmos that the universe is expanding, but the latest data from Hubble telescope suggests it's moving 9% faster than previously thought. To obtain this data, the team from SHOES, that supernova HO for the equation of state for short, at Johns Hopkins University, analyzed light from 70 stars in a nearby galaxy, the large Magellanic Cloud, to see how fast they're moving away from us. The team specifically analyzed a group of stars known as Cepheids, C E P H E I D S the Cepheids, which brighten and dim at regular intervals. They used measurement known as DASH, that's Drift and Shift for short, DASH, which allowed them to focus on more than one star at once, whereas Hubble images are usually the result of one star observed every 90 minutes, making the process usually time-consuming. With the DASH technique, though, the team were able to fine-tune the cosmic distance ladder which is used to determine distances within the universe. And comparing the results of the DASH measurement and standard Hubble measurements, the researchers noticed a slight discrepancy in terms of how bright the Cepheids usually were. The closer the star, the brighter it appears. The results indicate the stars are slightly faster and farther than expected, leading to the conclusion that the universe is expanding at a faster rate than expected. Adam Rees, Bloomberg Distinguished Professor of Physics and Astronomy at the Johns Hopkins University, Nobel Laureate and the project's leader said, this is not just two experiments disagreeing. We are measuring something fundamentally different. One is a measurement of how fast the universe is expanding today as we see it, and the other is a prediction based on the physics of the early universe and on measurements of how fast it ought to be expanding. If these values don't agree, there becomes a very strong likelihood that we're missing something in the cosmological model that connects the two eras. So, if the universe is expanding quicker, does this mean the end of time is also closer to us? Thanks to the presence of dark energy, the universe will continue to expand until matter and energy are eventually spread throughout, causing the temperature to cool to absolute zero. And what happens then is still a bit of a mystery. But scientists tend to opt for the Big, big Rip Theory, uh, uh, as opposed to the Big Bang. This is the Big Rip. As previously stated, the cosmos has been constantly expanding since the dawn of time. And once there is absolutely nothing left, and as dark energy overtakes the effects of gravity, the universe to expand at a quicker and quicker rate until its pace reaches the speed of light. Entropy, which is essentially dictates the order of molecules making up the universe, stops as there is nothing left to play with. However, if it is the case that the end is nearer, it still will not happen for trillions of years, from what they estimate. So the universe is expanding faster than expected. This is what NASA tells us. The surprising finding may be an important clue to understanding mysterious parts of the universe that make up 95% of everything and they don't emit light, such as dark energy, dark matter, dark radiation. This is what study leader Nobel laureate Adam Rees, space 
Telescope Science Institute Johns Hopkins said, Researchers made the discovery by refining the universe's current expansion rate to unprecedented accuracy, reducing the uncertainty to only a 2.4%. This is by uh, India Panorama, having to do with NASA's latest findings. 2.4%. The team made the refinements by developing innovative techniques that improved the precision of distance measurements to faraway galaxies. They look for galaxies containing both Cepheid stars and type IA supernova, Cepheid stars pulsing at rates that correspond to their true brightness, which can be compared with their apparent brightness as seen from Earth to accurately determine their distance. Type uh, a, a 1A supernova, another commonly used comic yardstick, are exploding stars that flare with the same brightness and are brilliant enough to be seen from relatively longer distances. And by measuring about 2,407 stars in 19 galaxies, comparing the observed brightness of both types of stars, researchers accurately calculated distances to roughly 300 type uh, 1A supernova in far-flung galaxies. They compared distances with the expansion of space as measured by the stretching of light from receding galaxies. And the team used these two values to calculate how fast the universe expands with time, or the Hubble constant. The improved Hubble constant value is 73.2 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Megaparsec. A megaparsec equals 3.26 million light years. The new value means the distance between cosmic objects will double in another 9.8 billion years. This refined calibration presents a puzzle, however, because it does not quite match the expansion rate predicted for the universe from its trajectory seen shortly after the Big Bang. Measurements of the afterglow from the Big Bang by NASA's Wilkinson Microwave, microwave and Dystrophy Probe and the European Space Agency's Planck satellite mission yield predictions for the Hubble constant that are 5% and 9% smaller. Quote, this is what Rhee said, quote, if we know the initial amounts of stuff in the universe, such as dark energy and dark matter, and we have the physics correct, then you can go from a measurement at the time shortly after the Big Bang and use that understanding to predict how fast the universe should be expanding today. And he said, however, if the discrepancy holds up, it appears we may not have the right understanding, and it changes how big the Hubble constant should be today. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.